when i receive the application it includes marked application and unmarked application it may be marked it may be unmarked regarding this 2000 there is no receivable how much payable is 2000 these two parties which we have to receive this is the party which you have to pay hello my dear student i am dr b s subramanian called by name dr b s s professor in commerce and management with the ashram first rate college a temple of excellence my showroom today in this session i am going to hang corporate accounting one in favor of bcom third semester unit one session four in favor of underwriting of shares and debenture in the last session i also explained what do you mean by underwriting of shares so underwriting of shares means these are all the parties who will sell the share on behalf of the company for a commission that commission is called underwriting commission so when the company issue the share to the public about 90 percent should be collected from the public within 120 days if they are not in a position to collect so they will take the help of their friends called underwriter who will sell the shares and the venture on behalf of the company to make 90 percent or at least 95 percent of the share so underwriting is an agreement made by two parties one is called the company and is called the underwriter the agreement between these two parties we called as underwriting and whatever remission payable to underwriter is called underwriting commission we'll move on to problem now rajesh limited was incorporated on 1st january 2022 and issued a prospectus inviting application for 20000 equity share of 10 each the whole of issue were underwritten by A, B and C as follows. A take the responsibility of selling 10,000 shares. B, B take the responsibility of 6,000 shares. C take the responsibility of 4,000 shares. Application received from the public 16,000 shares, which mark applications, means which includes the mark application. A, 8,000 shares. B, 2850 share, C, 4150 share, find out the liability of the underwriter and pass general entry. This is for 15,000. See that how many shares are there? 20,000. How many applications received? 16, which is considered as market application. In the last session, I told you when I receive the application, it includes market application and unmarked application. It may be marked. It may be unmarked. Here, how many shares are there? 20,000. How many applications received? 16,000, which is marked. See the working note. How many applications received? 16,000. See that? Application received 16,000, which is marked application. Mark application is 15,000. Unmarked application is 1,000. See that? Totally, application received is 16,000. Out of that, how much is marked? 8,000, 2,850 and 4,150. Totally application received from the public is 16,000. Out of that, how much is marked? A, 8,000, B, 2,050, C, 4. Totally 15,000. How much left over? 1,000, which is called unmarked application. I told in the last session also, when application received, it includes marked application and unmarked application. How much? 16,000. How much marked application? 15,000. How much left over? 1,000, which is considered as unmarked application. So the unmarked application should be distributed among the underwriter in the ratio of gross liability. What's your gross liability? 10,000 is to 6,000 is to 4,000. They are in the ratio of 10 is to 6 is to 4 or 5 is to 3 is to 2. In this ratio, it should be distributed. Here, this is your 1000. So, 5 by 10 is 500, 300, 200. If we deduct, no, the balance is 1500 here, 8000. So, here, 10,000, 8500 gone. Balance is 1500, 6000. Minus 2,000, it remains 300, it is 131. Here, 2,850, 
it is 354,000. So, this is a negative figure which is considered as a surplus. Surplus of C, how much? 3,000. Surplus of distributed among the A and B in the ratio 5 is to 3. This 350 should be distributed among A and B in the ratio 5 is to 3. 5 by 8 of 350 is 219. 3 by 8 of 350 is 131, total is 350. How much left over net liability? 1,281. Here, 2,719, nil, totally 4,000. Now, commission at 10% on the issue price. How much responsibility they have taken? 10,000. 10,000 into 10 into 500, how much is payable? 5,000. Regarding the B, how much accepted? 6,000. 6,000 into 10 into 5 by 100 is 3,000. Regarding the C, 4,000 into 10 into 5 by 100 is 2,000. So this is the amount payable by the company to the underwriter as per the agreement. Now, how much is receivable? Here, net liability is 1,281 into rupees 10. They have to pay 12,810. 2,719 into 10, 27,190. Here there is no nil, there is no amount are there. So out of 20s here, we have to receive amount receivable, 12,810. How much is payable? 5,000. How much net amount receivable? 7,810. Here. How much receivable? 27,190. How much payable? 3,000. How much left over? 24,190. Regarding this 2,000, there is no receivable. How much payable is 2,000? These two parties which we have to receive, this is the party which you have to pay. Hope, once again, the gross liability is 10,000, 6,000, 4,000, totally 20,000. Then, mark application 8,000, 2,000, 850, The unmarked application is 1,000, which have been shared in the ratio of 5 is to 3 is to 2. How much left over? No, 1,500, 2,850, this minus surplus. This should be surplus of C, distributed among A and B in the ratio of 5 is to 3. So, A gets 219. B has to share 131 plus 350. So what is the net liability now? 1,281 goes in favor of A. 2,719 goes in favor of B. Nil here. Here totally 4,000. Commission at 5% on the face value. They agreed to sell the share to extent of 10,000. 10,000 into 10 into 5. So commission payable at 5% on share. If this debenture is 2.5%. 10,000 into 10 into 5 by 100 is 5,000. 6,000 into 10 into 5 by 100 is 3,000. Then 4,000 into 500, 2,000. This is payable by the company to underwriter. Then issue price is 10 rupees per share. How many share? They are net liability 1,281 into 10, 12,810. Then 2,719 into 10, 27,190. Here number of shares are nil. 2000. So, here 12,890 10 minus 5000 is 785, which is receivable. We have to receive 27,190. Out of that, how much is payable? 3000. How much receivable? 24,190. Here, total entry 2000 is payable. So, we will move on to journal entries now. Totally, how many applications received? 16,000 at the rate of rupees 10 entry. Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Bank account data to equity share capital 1,60,000. We have to receive from A. We have to receive, A has to receive, B has to receive. A's capital account data, B's capital account company has to receive from A, from E. A's capital account data, B's capital account data to equity share capital. We, then underwriting commission. We have to pay a total underwriting commission is 10,000. Underwriting commission account data are 10,000. To A's capital 5,000. To B's capital 3,000. To C's capital 2,000. Now, come back here. We have to receive 32,000. To a bank account data are 32,000. 
to A's capital we have to pay seven thousand eight hundred ten. To B's capital twenty four thousand one ninety. If he is a working note, we understand here how much is receivable? Totally seven thousand eight hundred ten plus twenty four one ninety. Totally thirty two thousand. How much you receive from the A? Seven thousand eight hundred ten. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. How much money company is going to receive? Thirty two thousand. From A, how much you are going to receive? Seven thousand eight hundred ten. B same or same. Say debit ward comes in, credit ward goes. So who is the payer? A and B, which is a personal account. Debit the receiver, credit the giver. Who are the giver? A is a one underwriter. B is an underwriter. How much money the company is going to receive? Thirty-two thousand. Regarding the C, the company has to pay how much money? Two thousand to C. C is capital account data to bank account. Now the company is paying here. Company is receivable. Totally, we have got sixteen thousand share. Sixteen into ten, one lakh sixty thousand share. This is a common general entry. Then we have to receive from A. We have to receive from A. A's capital account data, B's capital account data to equity share capital. Underwriting commission we have to pay to underwriter to A, to B, to C. Then we have to receive from the underwriter bank account. The company is going to receive thirty-two thousand in favor of A, seven thousand eight and ten. So B has to pay how much? Twenty-four one ninety. But we have to pay to C how much money? Two thousand. C is capital account data to bank account. This is common general entry. Hope you understand. This is for fifteen months. Hope you understand this session. So I solve the problem. Second problem here regarding including the general entry. In the next session, we will move on to third problem. Same type of problem. Another four or five problems we are going to solve about the underwriting of shares and debenture. So we'll have two question. One for ten marks, another for fifteen marks. Ten marks question, one question, and fifteen marks one question. One theory question will come. So in the next session, we are going to solve another two or three problem. Till then, goodbye. Meet in the next session.